Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. Eighth grade math, IXL, section AA is system of linear equations. Um, today we're going to solve a system of equations using substitution. So here's a system of equations. Um, we've already solved equations um, by graphing. So we could graph this vertical line, graph this line, and look for where they cross. Uh, today we're going to do it without graphing, so this is an algebraic method. So we already know what one of the var um, variables is, and that is um, that x is 4. Okay, so we know that they have to intersect where x is 4. Uh, but we're going to use substitution to figure out the other value. Okay, so if we know that x is 4, we can substitute. 4 in for x into the other equation. And that's what I've done here. So if negative 7 times x plus 4y equals 8, we, cannot, we can say that negative 7 times 4 plus 4y equals 8 because x is 4. So that's the substitution part. Then we can just solve this equation. So negative 28 uh, plus 4y equals 8. Uh, add 28 to both sides and we get 4y equals 36 and then divide both sides by 4 and we get y equals 9. So the solution to our equation or the solution to our system of equations is 4 because that's the x value, 9 because that's the y value. So that is the point where these two lines would intersect. So that one's pretty simple because we were given one of the values of the variable. Here, we are not. Um, however, we are told that y equals 3x minus 10, and we're also told that y equals 2x minus 5. So what I'm going to do is substitute in 3x minus, y, or minus 10 for y in the second equation. Because if y equals 3x minus 10, that means they're interchangeable. We can substitute one for the other. So here we go. 3x minus 10 equals 2x minus 5. I'll switch to blue. y equals y. They're both y's. 3x minus 10 is y, 2x minus 5 is y, so they must be equal to each other. So the way I'm going to solve this is um, by subtracting 2x from both sides. That'll be my first step. Basically, just solving an equation with variables on both sides now. So subtract 2x from both sides. 3x minus 2x is x, and it disappears on the right. Then I'm going to add 10 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 10 is 5. And now we have our x value, 5. What we don't have is y. Um, but now that we have x, we can plug it into either one of these equations. So um, I'm going to take the second equation here, y equals 2x minus 5. And I'm going to plug 5 in, or substitute, hence the substitute uh, substitution method. Substitute 5 into that equation. So y equals 10 minus 5, which means y is also 5. So uh, for this answer, x is 5 and y is 5. Let's do a couple more. Same idea here. So y is x minus 6 and y is also 9x plus 10. So we can substitute this x minus 6 into the second equation here. So we'll say x minus 6 equals 9x plus 10. And then we'll just solve this equation. So I'm going to solve this one by uh, subtracting x from both sides. And then I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And then I'll divide both sides by 8 and we get that x is negative 2. Now we just have to figure out what y is. Um, so I want to take the top equation this time because 
it looks like I can substitute in for x a lot easier. I won't have to multiply by 9 like I would have to in the second equation. So y equals x, which is negative 2, minus 6. So y equals negative 8. And there we go. We got our values here. We got our point where these two lines intersect when x is negative 2 and y is negative 8. In the first section of this, um, the first skill of this section, you, you uh, determined whether points were solutions. So we could plug this back into both equations and check our answer. Sake of time, I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so this one gets a little bit tougher because. Um, we don't have any of the equations solved for any of the variables. However, I'm looking at the second equation. I know if I just subtract, um, if I just subtract 3y from both sides real quick, I can get x by itself. So negative 3y minus 16. Now I can plug this negative 3y minus 16 in for x into the top equation. So I'm going to substitute in for x. Here we go. So um, negative 3 times x, which is negative 3y minus 16 minus 3y equals 18. So this is the top equation, but I replaced x with negative 3y minus 16, or I substituted negative 3y minus 16 for x, and that's why it's called the substitution method. This equation can be solved for y. It's a little bit tougher because we have more steps. I'm going to use the distributive property, distribute that negative 3. Um, negative 3 times negative 16 is 48. So we're going to do 9y plus 48 minus 3y equals 18. And then I'll combine like terms, so I'll get um, 9y minus 3y is 6y plus 48 equals 18. And then I'll <clears throat> subtract 48 from both sides. That'll give me negative 30 on the right. And then I'll divide both sides by 6. So now we have our y value is negative 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to figure out what x is by substituting negative 5 in for y. So negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. And 15 minus 16 is negative 1. So the solution to this linear system, or the system of equations, is x negative 1, y negative 5. That is a point where those two lines would cross, but we did it without having to actually graph them. One more. Um, so this one, I'm going to take the top equation here, and I'm going to solve for y. So I can do that in one step, just add x to both sides, and I'll get x minus 8. So you can solve for x or y, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take that y value, x minus 8, and I'm going to plug it into this equation. So seven, instead of seven, negative 7 times y, I'll do negative 7 times x minus 8 in the equation. Now I've got an equation with only one variable, x, so I'll solve it first by the distributive property. Then I'll combine like terms. Then I'll, sorry, um, subtract 56 from both sides. I mean, negative 12x equals negative 72. And then I'll divide both sides by 12, or negative 12, which will give me x equals 6. Then um, I can take and plug 6 in to this equation that we already have solved for y. So I'm going to do instead of x minus 6, I'll, or x minus 8, I'll do 6 minus 8. And that'll tell me that y is negative 2. So our solution to this system, 6, negative 2. That's the point where these two lines cross and is the solution to this linear system. 
That's how you solve a system of equations using substitution. Good luck.